100 past papers MCQs, with answers on topic, preparation and dispensing of sterile products in subject hospital pharmacy. We are sharing questions and the direct answers to save your time. General syllabus has been given in our video, A1, uploaded at our YouTube channel, Pharmacy Jobs and MCQs. Subject. Hospital Pharmacy. Topic. Preparation and Dispensing of Sterile Products. Question 1. Which of the following is required for sterile compounding? Answer. Aseptic Technique. Question 2. What is the primary goal of using laminar airflow hoods in sterile compounding? Answer. To prevent contamination. Question 3. Sterile products are prepared in which type of environment? Answer. Controlled environment. Question 4. In sterile compounding, what is the purpose of HEPA filters? Answer. To remove airborne particles. Question 5. What is the acceptable range of temperature for storing sterile products? Answer. 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Question 6. What is the main reason for using aseptic technique in sterile product preparation? Answer. To avoid contamination. Question 7. Which document outlines the legal requirements for sterile compounding in Pakistan? Answer. Drug Regulatory Authority of Pakistan Draft Regulations. Question 8. Under which conditions should sterile products be compounded? Answer. ISO Class 5 Conditions. Question 9. Which of the following is classified as a high-risk compounding activity? Answer. Sterile compounding from non-sterile ingredients. Question 10. In sterile compounding, which disinfectant is most commonly used for cleaning surfaces? Answer. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Question 11. What is the minimum frequency for cleaning laminar airflow workbenches in sterile compounding areas? Answer. Before each shift and after spills. Question 12. What is the primary function of a biological safety cabinet BSC? Answer. To protect the operator and the product. Question 13. In Pakistan, which law governs the dispensing of sterile products in hospitals? Answer. The Drug Act of 1976. Question 14. What is the appropriate air quality standard for a clean room where sterile products are prepared? Answer. ISO Class 7. Question 15. Which technique should be used to ensure sterility while transferring materials into a sterile compounding area? Answer. Aseptic transfer technique. Question 16. What is the recommended expiry date for single-dose vials after opening? Answer. 6 hours. Question 17. The sterility of a compounded sterile product is typically ensured by Answer. Filtration, autoclaving, or terminal sterilization. Question 18. What is the maximum allowable beyond use date bud for low-risk sterile preparations stored at room temperature? Answer. 48 hours. Question 19. According to pharmacy law, what is the minimum required documentation for sterile product compounding? Answer. Batch records and compounding logs. Question 20. What is the best practice for hand hygiene before sterile compounding? Answer. Wash hands for at least 30 seconds. Question 21. What is the purpose of a sterile compounding log? Answer. To document ingredients and procedures used. Question 22. What is a critical area in the context of sterile compounding? Answer. The space where sterile products are exposed to the environment. Question 23. 
Which type of sterilization is commonly used for heat-sensitive sterile products? Answer. Filtration sterilization. Question 24. What is a pyrogen, and why must sterile products be free of them? Answer. A substance that can cause fever, harmful if present in sterile products. Question 25. What is the USP chapter that provides guidelines on sterile compounding? Answer. USP less than 797. Question 26. What is the requirement for gowning in sterile compounding? Answer. Sterile gloves, gown, mask, and shoe covers. Question 27. What is the definition of a low-risk sterile product? Answer. A product compounded under aseptic conditions using sterile ingredients and devices. Question 28. Which of the following is an example of a medium-risk sterile preparation? Answer. Total Parenteral Nutrition TPN. Question 29. What is the role of the pharmacist in sterile product compounding according to pharmacy law? Answer. To ensure accuracy, sterility, and compliance with regulations. Question 30. What is the key requirement for maintaining a sterile environment in a clean room? Answer. Airflow control and regular cleaning. Question 31. Which standard is used to measure the cleanliness of air in sterile compounding areas? Answer. ISO standards. Question 32. What is the minimum frequency for environmental monitoring in sterile compounding areas? Answer. Daily. Question 33. Why is media fill testing important in sterile compounding? Answer. To assess the compounding personnel's aseptic technique. Question 34. What is the primary purpose of an autoclave in sterile product preparation? Answer. To sterilize equipment and products. Question 35. According to pharmacy law, how often should the filters in laminar airflow hoods be replaced? Answer. As per manufacturer recommendations, typically every six months. Question 36. What is terminal sterilization in the context of sterile product preparation? Answer. The final sterilization step after product preparation. Question 37. What is a compounded sterile preparation, CSP? Answer. A sterile medication prepared under aseptic conditions. Question 38. Which of the following is a requirement for labeling sterile compounded products? Answer. Date of preparation, beyond use date, and ingredients. Question 39. What is the responsibility of a hospital pharmacist in dispensing sterile products? Answer. To verify the accuracy and sterility of the product. Question 40. What is the significance of beyond use dating bud for sterile products? Answer. It indicates the time by which the product must be used before sterility can no longer be guaranteed. Question 41. Which of the following is an example of a high-risk sterile compounding situation? Answer. Compounding from non-sterile powders. Question 42. What is the purpose of personal protective equipment, PPE, in sterile compounding? Answer. To protect the product from contamination and ensure personal safety. Question 43. Which guideline outlines the training requirements for personnel involved in sterile compounding? Answer. USP less than 797. Question 44. What type of clean room is required for preparing hazardous sterile products? Answer. ISO class 5 biological safety cabinet in an ISO class 7 clean room. Question 45. 
How long can medium risk sterile products be stored at room temperature according to USP less than 797 greater than? Answer. 30 hours. Question 46. In which part of the clean room should sterile products be prepared? Answer. In the primary engineering control PEC area. Question 47. What is the recommended action if a breach in aseptic technique occurs during sterile compounding? Answer. Discard the contaminated product and start again. Question 48. What is the role of a pharmacy technician in sterile compounding? Answer. Assist in preparation under the supervision of a pharmacist. Question 49. What is the proper procedure for disinfecting vials before use in sterile compounding? Answer. Wipe with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Question 50. According to pharmacy law, what must be done if a sterile product is found to be contaminated? Answer. It must be reported and quarantined immediately. Question 51. What is the purpose of laminar airflow in a sterile compounding environment? Answer. To direct airflow in a way that minimizes contamination. Question 52. What is the purpose of the clean zone in sterile product preparation? Answer. To provide a space where only sterile materials are handled. Question 53. What type of sterile products must be prepared in an ISO class 5 environment? Answer. All sterile products. Question 54. What is the maximum allowable beyond use date but for high risk sterile preparations at room temperature? Answer. 24 hours. Question 55. What must be done before entering a sterile compounding area? Answer. Gowning, hand washing, and aseptic technique training. Question 56. What is a commonly used method to sterilize equipment used in sterile product preparation? Answer. Autoclaving. Question 57. How often should sterility testing be performed for high-risk sterile compounded products? Answer. Every batch. Question 58. In pharmacy law, what is the key responsibility of a hospital pharmacist when compounding sterile products? Answer. To ensure compliance with legal standards and safety. Question 59. What is the purpose of isolators in sterile compounding? Answer. To create a controlled environment for compounding. Question 60. What kind of environment should be maintained when preparing sterile hazardous drugs? Answer. Negative pressure clean room. Question 61. What is the minimum requirement for the training of personnel involved in sterile compounding? Answer. Aseptic technique certification. Question 62. Which pharmacy law specifies guidelines for labeling sterile compounded products? Answer. DRAP regulations. Question 63. What is a major risk associated with compounding sterile products? Answer. Microbial contamination. Question 64. What is a major difference between low risk and high risk sterile compounding? Answer. High risk compounding involves non-sterile ingredients or devices. Question 65. How frequently should air quality be monitored in sterile compounding environments? Answer. At least every six months. Question 66. What is the purpose of a buffer zone in a sterile compounding area? Answer. To minimize air contamination. Question 67. What should be done if a sterile product fails sterility testing? Answer. The product must be discarded. Question 68. How long can high-risk compounded sterile preparations be stored at refrigerated temperatures? Answer. 3 days. 
Question 69. According to USP less than 797 greater than, how often should laminar airflow hoods be certified? Answer. Every six months. Question 70. What is the recommended beyond use date bud for sterile compounded products stored in a freezer? Answer. 45 days. Question 71. In sterile compounding, why is environmental monitoring important? Answer. To detect potential contamination. Question 72. What is the primary goal of aseptic processing in sterile compounding? Answer. To maintain sterility of products. Question 73. Which pharmacy law defines the standards for sterile compounding in hospitals in Pakistan? Answer. The Drug Act of 1976. Question 74. What is the role of a pharmacist in maintaining sterile conditions during compounding? Answer. To oversee and ensure adherence to aseptic techniques. Question 75. What should be done with used syringes and needles in sterile compounding? Answer. Dispose of them in a sharps container. Question 76. How often should gowns and gloves be changed in sterile compounding? Answer. Gowns every shift. Gloves frequently during compounding. Question 77. Which type of filter is used to sterilize heat-sensitive solutions? Answer. 0.22 micron filter. Question 78. What is the maximum allowable beyond use date for immediate use sterile preparations? Answer. 1 hour. Question 79. What is the primary focus of pharmacy ethics in sterile product compounding? Answer. Patient safety and product quality. Question 80. What is the consequence of using expired sterile products according to pharmacy law? Answer. Legal penalties and risks to patient safety. Question 81. What is the minimum airflow velocity required in a laminar airflow hood? Answer. 90 feet per minute. Question 82. What is the recommended duration for media fill testing for personnel involved in sterile compounding? Answer. Annually for low and medium risk, semi-annually for high risk. Question 83. What is the role of the pharmacy in ensuring the proper disposal of hazardous sterile waste? Answer. To follow safe and legal disposal practices. Question 84. What should be included on the label of a sterile compounded product? Answer. Name of the product, ingredients, date of preparation, beyond use date. Question 85. In sterile product preparation, what is the best way to minimize contamination? Answer. Using proper aseptic techniques and personal protective equipment. Question 86. What is the risk of not following sterile compounding guidelines? Answer. Contamination and harm to patients. Question 87. Which of the following is considered a medium risk sterile preparation? Answer. Multi-component sterile infusions. Question 88. What type of sterile compounding requires the use of isolators? Answer. Hazardous drug compounding. Question 89. What is the primary purpose of conducting sterility testing on compounded sterile products? Answer. To confirm that the product is free of microbial contamination. Question 90. How often should clean room walls and ceilings be cleaned in a sterile compounding area? Answer. Monthly. Question 91. What type of compounding environment is necessary for compounding chemotherapy drugs? Answer. ISO class 5 biological safety cabinet with negative pressure. Question 92. 
What is the consequence of microbial contamination in a sterile product? Answer. Infection or sepsis in the patient. Question 93. What is required by pharmacy law to ensure compliance with sterile compounding standards? Answer. Regular audits and inspections. Question 94. What is the recommended storage temperature for vaccines prepared as sterile products? Answer. 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Question 95. How often should floors in the sterile compounding area be cleaned? Answer. Daily. Question 96. What is a risk associated with improper hand hygiene in sterile compounding? Answer. Introduction of pathogens into sterile products. Question 97. What is the importance of beyond use dating bud for compounded sterile products? Answer. To ensure the sterility and safety of the product until use. Question 98. What is the primary function of a buffer area in sterile compounding? Answer. To maintain a controlled environment for sterile preparation. Question 99. What is the primary guideline for sterile compounding in the United States that is also followed globally? Answer. USP less than 797. Question 100. What should be done if an environmental monitoring sample in the sterile compounding area shows contamination? Answer. Investigate the source and take corrective action. Regards. To get more, contact us. Majid Body Advocate, LLB, PhD Scholar, Pharmaceutics 2023-2026. Vice President, Pakistan Pharmacist Association, PPA Punjab, Pakistan. Plus 92321-404236. Thank you.